champs just there. That's a real blessing. <clears throat> can get some water. So I'm going to get me shit and come and get some water because it's going to take a long time. Let's go hunting. No joke, it's the night before heading off into the gutter. I won't be able to sleep a wink, but um, watching Reggie, just buzzing out, eh? Um, high hopes for decent stag, been up the area halfway up it. The next half is just total different country, so looking real forward to it, eh? Frothing. Um, yeah, I'll take this along. Might vlog it a little bit and just see what, com what comes out of it. It's going to be epic country, I know that for sure. Um, not going to film the drive-in, that standard shit. Just once I get boots on the ground and start, this video will go from there. So I'm loading up the ute, it's 11 o'clock and I'm out of here at like 5, 5.30, so see you then. And touchdown. Told you this would be in the one and gather by the next time you saw me. We're here. Just landed, just doing last minute preps on some, um, get my kit ready, then we're going to head up in the hills, so. Got a couple of days alright weather, got um, rain coming like Thursday or Friday, Friday. And then I'll come back here Saturday, so um, gives me four days, three and a half days, so getting excited. On location. About to don the pack and climb for a couple of hours. But I can see a little bit of where I'm heading and it does look bloody good. I just got to get there. We've got um, quite a bit of elevation to gain. I'd be probably about 650 here and I want to get up to about 13. <laughs> the Savo, but I got plenty of time, which is just a blessing beautiful weather as I'm going up to I get to glass um, where I'm going so I might even pick one up up in there I'm not going to stuff around too much that one and get a track such a bumpy bastard it takes so long to get from one end of the valley to the other my car's still just held together but it's done what it needed to do now it's for me on foot to the mountain um, and anyway I'll get my gear on and we'll hike up and I'll see it's halfway up. We'll go from there. The walking, eh? It's a bit of a bore for you guys and it's a bit of a bore for me. So this one's a climb, all uphill. Would have been nice to just trot along, nice semi-flat ground. But that'll be tomorrow. I just got to get up here. I'm about halfway. Ish. Halfway ish. Probably a bit hard to see, but we got boot tracks. It's pretty common, like it's a pretty popular area down in here. We are in the one and gather. So that's interesting. It's been good weather for the week, so no rain. They've had a bit of dew on them. So that's alright, it's all good, I expect this. I actually expect to see some camp sites up top. But we'll cross that bridge when I get up there. In heaps of hours. Ah! Didn't expect to find myself a new safari shooter. 
up your knee. Mind now, brother. The old dingo or possum had a go at it. Anyway, that'll be a bit extra weight. I might leave it here on the way back. Pick it up on the way back. When I got that big stag. Feels like forever ago, but halfway's just there. Good feeling. In a groove now, it must be 45 to an hour into it, and um, your legs, everything's working, pumping. Takes a while. I'm sweating a bit too much for what I'd like. I haven't got any towels in that. And it's gonna rain, so. Anyway, that's later on. I'll just worry about getting dry once I get to camp and set up. Get a fire going and dry out. I can flip shirts inside out, which is a bit of a bonus. And that, the moisture on those polar fleece is often on the inside. So you flip it around. Pretty good. Warm enough to be like at bed and stuff in the night time. But I'm packing heavy. Don't worry about that. We've got some KGs on. But fuck, that's what I'm here for, enjoy myself up in here. Um, and I'm gonna, so I'll see you up there. Jeez. Didn't expect to find a new set of warm gloves up here either. Cheer bro. They're bloody good. They would have fit bloody good, thanks mate. Looks like he's out here for a while too. <laughs> what else do you leave around here? Just a tissue. Ah, alright. That'll definitely keep the hands warm this weekend. Two route. Getting there. I'm slowly getting up there. Bloody good. Just gonna have a quick glass. As much as I want to go up there, it'd be crazy to walk past one. A big one. But um, yeah, it looks like this next bit's a bit of a challenge. Skinny ridge, rocky, steep. Wor if worst case, I might be able to cross out of it into another system, actually, and still make good ground for tomorrow and be up there for tonight. But anyway, we'll cross that once I get across this. Bloody hecka. Old earplugs, I'm picking up shit everywhere on this. Some some buggers lost a bit of stuff. But um I'd say he's a long range shooter. To have the earplugs. I'd say he's got a muzzle brake. That's what I assume anyway, mate. Sucked in, I got all your gear. I just got that bloody feeling. Um, it's all virgin ground for me. And when I get into virgin country, it's just so new and fresh and exciting. Like that last hour and a half was a drag because I've been up there a couple times. And even though there's people being up in here, it's all new to me. And I've got a pretty big vision up in here. So I'm gonna keep marching. Get up into a better position for night time. Still got probably two and a half hours, so I'll get somewhere. I don't know where, I'll probably go on slower and slower and as we get up, but um, I'm really excited. Really excited. Game on in our adventure is on. Virgin Ground, Samba Country, Alpine Park. <laughs> Yeah. 
Jesus. Bit of a morale check. We're going right. Fucking I'm up there, I'm fucking close. There's big rocks over there that I reckon I'm about 50 below. And there was deers like 100 above them last time. I'm fucking in the zone, boys. Cooking. But this is just a gradual, no, no stops. So I'm taking a few and just um, getting up there on sort of this kind of scrub. It's not scrub, there's enough um, broken trails through it. But there's rock outcrops, which are gonna make it difficult, I think, up the top. What's around? Because I think there's a bit of potential over my shoulder. But I want to go up, so we'll keep on trucking. Just full on rock climbing. There's a little trail for it, which is perfect, but it's tough going. Oh, it's a bit of a novelty now. I reckon in an hour it'll be a different story. But um, let's get up there and see what we can bloody start seeing. Definitely not a bad part of the world up here. No people. No people as of yet anyway. So it's a good spot to stop for a ciggy. Glass this face. So I'm not, except, I'm not that far away, so I'm pretty doing good time, it's quarter past three. Got a little bit of time before dark or before the cold kicks in. And by that stage I'll be well and truly ready for me. Swag, sleeping bag. Dag's down up in here, that's for sure. It's starting to wear out too. Hopefully it gets a little flatter soon. But that's pretty cool. It's rubbing out of velvet. Just this week. It's got a bit of height on him. But uh, I'm gonna keep crunch, it's loud. It's not hunting, but I'm getting there. I shall see you soon. Faint trails. Pushing this dead stuff. Getting tangled on a fair bit. Not enjoying this little bit, but um, that was the part of it. If I get up, I'm calling 20 minutes, but I'll just keep motoring up until I get to a bit of a off this ridge anyway, this ridge is about to break into a couple. Then I sort of have a bit of option at the moment. She's scrubby, shh, not very wide, pretty steep. This is it. About to break up onto the tops. See how it's in a different train. Can't wait. Come on, man. No far to go now, come on. Get together. Tops. The bloody river. Now that I'm up in the zone, find a camp spot, I think. It's only probably 4 ish, 4 30. Um, it's just getting cold, I'm wet, sweating, it's dry still, I'm going to try and get a fire going and warm up today, chill out today so I can be going tomorrow, we'll get rain about 4 in the Arvo, then a bit more rain the next day, so um, morning tomorrow as we go, hopefully, let's put in heaps on that, so let's go and get a camp up here and see what's over the bloody crest, I've never seen it. A 
few beds in this open shit already. Dirty big alpine. Yeah, up in here, I'd better go. The promised lands. You can feel it, I smell it. A little bit further. Down this saddle. And I should be right on the other side. I'll glass all that. Got my camp set up, my tent set up. Got up here, well, I don't know what time. I'll check that. Must be nearly four, th must be five o'clock, it's getting so dark. I can't actually glass. I miss my opportunity. But um, all good. Got a bit lost, so to speak, on where I thought I was and whatnot, but this one and up and then I'm fucking so into it. So um, in the morning I'll cut across this saddle and glass from there, probably like glass here first and go across there glass and then that'll be me. But anyway, I'm not fucking around, I'm having a cup of tea. Bit of food, I'm knackered and I'm going to bed so catch us out there tomorrow. We're on here. Sun's going down. Cup of tea in bed, so I'll see you tomorrow. Bloody good morning. Sun popping out one side and the bloody rain on the other. It's getting closer to, I have to just have this cup of tea and chill in the sh tent for a minute, but I've just been glassing these big faces. Probably not, it's probably in the wind. Oh no it's not, it's coming up the gully, so the other side should fucking have deer on it, but um... Yeah. Bloody loving it, nice and hidden out of the wind actually, I'm gonna stay camped here and run up the hills and across morning and later today's gonna be a good day hopefully this just pisses off and then um lets me have a bit of a hunt yeah it's bloody awesome quick cover and i'll get into it for a couple of hours Bit of a foggy, bit low cloud, mountain fog. I'm gonna keep going just in case it breaks for the Arvo. Oh, midday. I just don't wanna get lost. It should be very hard to do that, so it should be right.
rain this afternoon. Cool enough to be lower out of the cloud. It's pretty thick, it's not getting anything though. It's blowing flat out sideways. Real bugger. But I got up to where I wanted to, so to speak, so we're, we'll be back, you know. I can't see it. Plenty of sun up in here, but um, yeah, I can't see my tent. That's bright green. Let alone trying to look for brown animals. I'm going to hit that tent. I'll catch it later on. Reason. Nah, it's not. Let's start again. Boring, that's what it is. Can't see fuck all still, I don't know. Must be a bit high. Be nice to have a walkie talkie or communication with the valley to see if it's foggy down there or not. Assume it would be. Because this stuff keeps blowing up from the bottom, so I don't know what the fuck's going on. But, um,. No drama. Just chilling. 2.30. Wednesday, ah, uh, Thursday. Tomorrow looks like the weather's gonna come around pretty good. I might get out of the tent, so I'll see you soon, I reckon. We're vlogging. Welcome to Banshee Camp. Not much to it. Um, been in here pretty much all day since about 9 or 10 o'clock. But watching the weather and that looks like there's a bit of good stuff coming. The next two days will be not good, but they'll be better. So I might get out. But anyway, vlog day two out. Day three. That's fucking sick. I see when I was there, I sort of come on the back side of that ridge. But that's where the other one goes off, which I'll hunt tomorrow. Now that I've been up here. Nothing that I want up here. Probably a 40 incher, but he's not running around in that stuff. Oh man, I can't believe it. Some fucking big faces out here. Just gonna chill out and have lunch. Glass this shit. situation situation's pretty bleak up here and they look like rain clouds but um I'm gonna go down I've been here I've done it I've seen it can't see what I'm looking for can't see period so down we go try and glass some lower country or something for Davo and if it's um, not much better in the morning, I think I will piss off because the sign's not here at the minute. 
and I uh, could pretty easily get lost with this um, fog. I haven't got GPS or nothing. Got me phone, but it's I don't have the little blue dot. It's pretty basic, basic, straightforward. There's a big ridge that runs down off it. I'll be able to fucking get on. But yeah, I just don't know. There's some good country in there. You'd, you could play it different. I just wanted to come up the top, I reckon. Just to say I summited it. But you know, I'll get down there and could change for the Arvo or better look at the weather. I think tomorrow's alright. Then we we'll head back down the bottom. Anyway, I'll catch us back at camp, I reckon. I'll do some stalking anyway, but I just don't think I'll be able to see much. The shady side's pretty clear, but it's pretty thick also. Anyway, who are you? Pretty thick in that, down once you get down in that. Might be able to see on down in these gullies, but um from up here my shooting distance is really only these rocks over here. Middle of that saddle really. Just glass it for a couple more minutes and then I'll get to that saddle and glass back into my camp. Okay, there you go. There's one in that face in that bit of sun I reckon. She's just feeding in that bit of sun. Rain at two. It's one o'clock now. It's going to be so quick, sticky back over here and go back to the camp um, for a little while. And this will give me an idea where I can look for the other. I think straight from camp where to go. And I'll be able to race across it because it's everywhere. And I'll be able to race across the uh, face if I have to. If by any chance there's one with the antlers over there. Bloody not sure. Might be further down the gully already. But we'll fucking soon find out. I've seen two now. Got honked last night at way elevation. So yeah, they might be lower. Getting my new, new Zealand fix on here, that is for sure. Loving it. Got the mountain legs, they're going. Side hilling. Climbing. Not looking forward to descending with my knee and ankle, but um, just have to favour the other side and take her easy. All I'm going to do this next day or whatever is glass that. That doe was on the other side, so she might come over, or like might be a stag over here or something. 
pretty tough gig. My camp's just here. Yeah, just there actually. So that's good. I can run across to there and glass if I or if I see one, shoot it. So that's all good. All good. Just uh, I can feel that weather changing, and that's what those deer must be doing, not moving much. After that though, so maybe the salvo, maybe in the morning. If not, I'm going down. Catches. What a blessing. Camps is there. That's a real blessing. <clears throat> Can get some water. So I'm gonna get me shit and come and get some water because it's gonna take a long time. But uh, it's just, I'm out of. Oh, I could run down there. Shoot across there. That's me plan. Just need one to pop up now with really big antlers. So that's not gonna happen, eh? And you know what? I've been looking so hard up in here. Can't find a bloody casty. Crazy. Yeah. On the vlog, dog. Um. Five o'clock and the rain just stopped, so that's two o'clock till five o'clock of drizzle. Um, day's done. This will be me for the night. Stock up, just eating some food and having a few drinks and uh, taking in a bit of water. Hopefully, my little collection over there is doing a good job. I'll have some water tomorrow. Um, tomorrow's weather looks good. Next two days do, but I don't think I'm going to stay here for the two. But we'll see what tomorrow brings. Only saw a couple of deer. No stag sign up here. A bit lower, but I can focus on that in the morning. And then probably move down the ridge a bit anyway. See what happens. But anyway, I'll um, see what goes on in the night. Hopefully an exciting night. And see us in the morning. In the fog. I don't know if that was there the other day or not. It's pretty big. Big old poo. I'm just glassing this shit.
somewhere. another one up there. I'll have to go get another battery. Stags up there, behind below me. Spiker and velvet, so um, not where the big boy will be. I don't reckon. I'll keep looking around. Nice to see some deer on the face this morning. That sun's a real attractor at this, this moment. Same for me. Mm. What's this fog gonna do?
Just come over to that um, water setup I left last night. I had a cup of tea there for sure. So that is fucking awesome. I'm kind of um, low on water. But not now. Those stags are over my shoulder. But yeah, I suppose I'll just let shit dry out. For a while and then um, pack up. Sabo. Bloody good though. Little baby, that one. We're boiling. Brew is up. I'm fucking Lipton today. Might bring the big boys out. Fucking Lipton it is. Smash this crap in it. We are the deer. Big belly. He been eating a lot of food. No joke, I'm pretty over this bloody tea stuff. Reckon I'm gonna start bringing in like Milo chocolate drink stuff. That condensed milk, it's shit. <laughs> At least if it had chocolate, it would taste a bit better. I'm just like, tea's a shit taste. Anyway. Fogged in again a bit. It's all good though.
Pretty embarrassing. This is pretty embarrassing because um, I was literally just pissing here, but I was pissing on this. This little thing. Hadn't found the casty all week. Been looking hard. And we just pissed on one, boys. So yeah, that's random, but fucking cool. It's all coming together. While the camera's on, the might as well bloody, might as well call it. It's all coming together. We've got stags, casties, sunshine, water. Now all I need to do, all that's going to happen now is dry this tin out, have a couple of durries, get keen, walk down this ridge, put one up in the sun, big one up in the sun, boom, on the ridge, over. Fucking elation. That's just um, looking into the future. But if we look into the other side of the future, we don't see fuck all on the way down and we just get back to the U and it's all G. <laughs> Those deer just took off pretty quick. Up over the ridge. Can't be sure why. I have to look over the footage when I get home and make sure I wasn't being too loud. Probably was, I got a bit excited. I mean there. 500. Maybe six. Oh well, I'll have to watch how I'm back. Might have learnt to be really quiet in the bush. I was pretty good till then. Yeah, classic. They're gone. Oh, the wedge is straight above me. Glassing some nice faces over there. I was looking down there anyway. Nothing. Two steps. Honk. I'm sort of going that way, so I'm just going to have a quick look. Change your plans. I've got no water, but I've got enough food and stuff, so I'm going to do a, re a loop around that one and down that other one. Which puts me about a kilometre from my car, but it could be a stag over here that's waiting for me. It's a good arvo for it. And I'll just try and get down, I guess, but if I don't, I can stay. I'm feeling pretty confident from here around. It's a bit bigger, a bit older. Take him. Be better. They're getting better. This one's a six point. Or a three point, I should say. I was just bashing through that tunnel. Here's shit too. Might be a big shitter over here. Anyway, I've got to put these on my pack properly now. Getting a bit heavy. Heavy. Little mental note on that one. Um, 
five to seven hundred meters of push and scrub to remember for next time. It's a pisser. I might have to sit up here. I think I'm gonna. It's too good not to. Set me ten up over there. I'm fucking in, boys. Catch us tomorrow, boys, down the bottom. Hill dog's not coming home. But nah, this looks quite awesome. Change plans, I reckon. We're going to sit here and glass this for the Arvo in the morning. Um, cross our fingers, toes, and put our tongue to the right. And I'm um, going to just try and mission out for some water, I reckon. I'm feeling like I need some water. Anyway, we'll do a quick camp set up. Just took a bloody dive down in there to get some water. Put one up. Don't reckon it came out yet. But it might have might have contoured out. Bit of a spew, but I sort of needed to find water. Still do. Not much of it around. Anyway, just to do tonight and quick morning class, then snort stalk out of here. It's, it's bloody, that face is only 200 or something from camp, which is right up the 7 mil 08 ring gear. But anyway, we'll see what we find here. Sometimes there's a bit of water in the old wombat hole, but he's home and she's dry. That's a fuck up. I'm out. I've seen where that, it was, it was a doe. It ran out. So I fucked that up too, but it was just doe tracks, so no drama. Um, yeah, dunno.
I heard a noise. That deer was just in those bushes. <laughs> Hopefully he's coming over to get that sun. And I was trying to get a shot on it, my tent was in the way. Sorry about that. Let's hope a big stag comes out of here tonight. I'm in the bloody wind. And that doe come out of that, that bit of bush. There's a good chance that they'll pop up on that other side, particularly in the morning, out of the wind and there'll be sun. But I'm just going to give it a bit of a glass for a while, never know. That's a bit nicer in the tent. Our campfire. Bloody beauty. So here's tomorrow for day five. some on the way down. Just wanna wait for the ground to thaw out. <sighs> Just a quick pack down today, so I'm just dumping everything in the bag, wet, however, in it. But I just thought I'd take a moment because um, I've been hearing a lot of stuff about people who seem to love sleeping on tissues. Fuck that. I got this X X pad. It's LW9. Mate. Fucking duck's nuts. The 9 stands for 9 centimeters thick. Might be a bit much. Maybe a 7's more up your alley. A little bit lighter. Fully insulated. You can sleep on the ice in this thing. And I have gone the long, wide model. I just love having a good, comfy sleep. And I need it out here. I couldn't sleep on these rocks. Or in these wallows and bloody wake up the next day ready to go. So yep, for me, it's a big old x bed and it comes everywhere. I recommend you look into something with some comfort, a high R rating, because you really want a good night's sleep out there. Anyway, this fog's back in, so packing up and peacing out. Catch up with you.
one over there. Pretty cool. Righto, righto. Glassing this big face on the way down. There's deer on there. No big stags yet, but um, the sun's on it. Where I was, foggy. Where I'm going, foggy. Right in, not foggy. Um, fucking steep and gnarly, this one. But that was pretty cool just to check it out. Apart, I've only looked at it with binoculars, but once you get into it, she's all different. Just making me way down glass. And anyway, that face, I reckon there's one over there somewhere. I just want to try and, um, just try and hopefully get a little bit of a better viewing, but might be down the road because I'm still on a very steep and I'm not, probably not technically halfway down from where I started this morning. No deer encounters. I'd say they were in this scrub and then moving out into that open stuff now to get some sun. But I think I worry about here. So anyway, we'll bloody see you when we get down the base. Fucking funny, you know, looking over at those other faces. Six, seven, whatever. I just feel that's the way to do it. Like, um, my gun only cable 350, maybe 400 if I was holding my tongue right, but it's just it's part of the hunt is glassing them from so far away and then saying, right, oh, he's on that face. I gotta go and get within two, three, four hundred metres of that face. I don't believe there's much hunting involved with sitting here and just because you can see the hill doesn't mean you can shoot the hill. Um, but that's a bit of a personal preference, but I'm just more putting it out there for um, for you guys who are new to it all, I guess. Um, there's a great sense of accomplishment and achievement um, and a bit of respect in what you're doing when you start chasing them where they are. Um, long range was just a way to, um, for most blokes to get a deer without struggling or doing it the hard way. Uh, it is a bit of a flavour of the month now to try and ping them real far away but you'll, you'll get there when you do it yourself you'll um, bang one at a fair few hundred metres across the hill it might be a good stag but pretty soon it'll sort of doesn't feel as awesome as it does when you're like spot and stalk or bush stalking um, and then you run into those big ones that's all my opinion, of course, and many other hunters' opinions who discuss and talk about the free range fair chase. Anyway, that's for another day. I just think being able to uh, Taking fair and square up in this shit's just fucking phenomenal. Power twos, there's a deer over there.
think that one that we just see pushing that scrubs sort of the one we're looking for well that's the one we're waiting for but it's not the one we're looking for that's a bit young way too small um, I don't think I'm gonna last too much longer super hungry super thirsty I know what to do next time I guess and that's exactly why you do this stuff so anyway I'll catch us down there somewhere the baby tripod is fucking down that is for sure How far are you, Mr. Bull? That's pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet up in there, that, um, that bull. I'm just watching him for a little bit because um, this time of day he's going up to bed. It'd be kind of cool to see where he beds, but also just um, he's a younger, younger bull. He can sometimes lead you to another bull that's better down. Unlikely at this point in time because he's rubbed out. But if they were um, in velvet or a bit closer, oh, yeah, he could be, could be hanging with another bull in there. But I'm glassing it pretty hard, I can't see anything else. But I'll give it a while, another durry. Because it's just a beautiful day. Rain tomorrow. Cracking day for it. Just thought I'd close this one out because um, just descending now. Maybe an hour or so. It's really warming up. It's great weather. It's a pity it's going to piss down tomorrow. But it could get the deer moving anyway. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little trip as much as I have. It was a bit of a mental barrier. Um, challenge I just had to do. Now in my mind I can do this the old Alpine Park better look out but yeah anyway a dozen deer at least nothing of size which is a bit weird but I just suppose realistically these deer are on a bit of a rotation grey velvet winter gates locked they come down they hang around, they get shot, and the next one, it all, the cycle sort of restarts. Hence why I was sort of trying to get up the back, but I don't think up the back's got the answers either. It's 
have a look over here for a minute. Down on the valley floor pretty much, not really, but nearly. But that um, um, a K out of where my ute is, so I've got to cut the bush a bit and fucked. Climb up this one hill and then that's it, but um, nearly there, babies. Climbed up, boys. We're up here, and my vehicle should be just over this little. Should be. I'm dehydrated, but it's greener pastures just down here, boys. Flatter ground, too, yeah, fucking oath. Hopefully, someone's got a few honks, so tell us where we can go to get a start. The dry river's always a good start. Anyway, Uru.